But uh, this is from Raw Story. Quote, day of trauma. Students told they were going to career fair taken to anti-LGBTQ church service. Okay, so let me get this straight. Right, all the facts are on the table here right now. So, the groups that are concerned about groomers, that is their number one thing, groomers, we gotta stop the groomers, right? Now, well, who is the number one institution in this country that grooms children, rapes children, molests children, etc.? It's the Catholic Church. It's religion, religious institutions. Number one, number one, when it comes to grooming, raping, and molesting kids. So the group that is ostensibly designed to, uh, you know, combat groomers, they really are concerned about groomers, they lie and kidnap children and bring them to where the groomers are making up their shop. Huh. It's almost like these motherfuckers don't give a shit about grooming. A group of students in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, because of course, thought that they were going to a career fair on Tuesday. Instead, they found that the they had been sent to an event described as an anti-LGBTQ church service. According to Baton Rouge-based newspaper The Advocate, over 2,100 students from local high schools in the East Baton Rouge Parish school system were told that they were participating in a district-wide college and career fair. However, when they arrived at their destination, the students, most of whom were seniors, discovered that they had been dropped off at an event called Day of Hope at the Living Faith Christian Center. Day of hope, really. Well, I'm glad that, you know, it's, I'd rather be uh, dropped off at the day of hope than just dropped off at a closed, empty church, you know? I'm glad it's the day of hope. Let's hope. And when we're done hoping, let's pray. According to reports, many of the students came away from this event feeling traumatized as the Day of Hope was centered on a number of sexually charged anti-LGBT issues. This reportedly included separating the kids by male and female and forcing male and female transgender students to participate in uh, discussions with the opposite sex. Additionally, one parent said that a number of transgender students were bullied during the event. Quote, other students, now again, I just want to say, once again, our country has a separation of church and state. A school teaming up with the church for a church service that is illegal. All of these people belong in jail. They have violated this country's constitution. Quote, other students poured water on top of transgender students' heads without any repercussions by any of the adults present. Oh, sanctioned bullying. That's great. Brittany Bryant, a mother of a transgender child and a high school biology teacher, wrote on Facebook, quote, they talked about rape and forgiving the offender, suicide, prayer, leadership, and many more dark, controversial topics. We had females in bathrooms crying due to the topics of discussion. Bryant also wrote that the, quote, boys talk also involves physical challenges, something the girls talk did not. From the beginning, no topics were discussed, but they began male chauvinistic competition for monetary reward for winners. What? So you pay a bunch of susceptible kids to like fight each other for money? At a church? What? What? Then proceeded to compete for push-ups for more money. They were hyped up and egged on. What? What is... That is weird ass shit, man. We talk about grooming. That is some weird ass shit. Bryant told the advocate, while she was afraid of speaking out, she felt that she had to bring the story to light. Another parent wrote on Facebook, day of hope, more like day of trauma. You prayed over my child, told her that she should remain abstinent, talked to her about suicide, and told her that if she's being abused in a domestic violence situation, that she should forgive her abuser, even if he's not sorry. Now again, if this were to have happened to me when I was a kid, God damn, they would have had to drag me out in handcuffs. I would have made a scene. But if I'm a parent and this happens to my kid, once again, someone's going to have to bring the handcuffs because that's some crazy ass fucking shit. One high schooler, senior Alexis Budyak, 
wrote on Facebook, the majority of students chose to attend this field trip on the promise of free food and the opportunity to skip class. However, the majority of students were not only disappointed by this event, but traumatized as well. The East Baton Rouge Paris school system responded to the outrage in a statement Wednesday saying that the event was structured to assist students with exploring what options are... Not even going to bother reading that. Um, but anyway, there you go. Again, there's a separation in church of church and state in this country. Is anyone going to be charged for this? Is anyone going to be fired at the very least? Fired? Maybe banned from public schooling over this? They violated the Constitution of the United States of America. They have desecrated the Constitution of this country. Are they going to be held to account? course not because we live in america and the powerful the rich will always get away with everything it doesn't matter how many victims there are it doesn't matter how many people are injured it doesn't matter how many people are hurt emotionally physically that doesn't matter because they are rich they are powerful they are on the side of power they are on the side of god and in a country whose founding principle is there is a separation of church and state somehow the god people Managed to rig our system so much that they're going to get off the hook for everything. 